Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have just been notified that Post Malone will be coming to Omaha, which is 45 minutes away from my where I live. Um, he'll be coming here. That's the best news I could ever receive on a Tuesday morning. I can't lose. I love my life. Welcome to another video. This week we are planning for the week of November 11th through the 17th. I am using this kit from Sabia and Co. Don't know what it's called, but I love the artwork of it so much. I used a kit by her last week, which, you know, I didn't love how it went just because it was lacking a few functional stickers that I would have preferred. Um, and the washi wasn't like super, like there's not enough washi to do headers or anything. So I had to pull in um, glitter headers, which was fine. That's why I bought glitter headers, but you know, it threw me off. So I'm going to be pulling in some functional um, functional stickers from the first spread I did because they kind of match, uh, at least these colors do. Headers, checklists, all that cheat. So let's just get into it, you know. I covered up the hexagon with some white sticker paper, which I, is better than having like a part of the hexagon sticking out. I can attest to that. So let's just start with our washi because we know what's going on there at least. I really do love this artwork. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes, but I love, I love this artwork. I think this kit might be called something along the lines of like pumpkin spice latte or some shit like that. Who knows? Not me. So my little sister watches all my YouTube videos. Shout out Aaliyah. But she told me that my planner videos are boring. So, you know, and shout out Aaliyah. Like, I am sorry you feel that way. But also, <laughs> keep that to yourself, you idiot. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do for full boxes, to be quite truthful. Um, it's kind of stressing me out. I'm thinking we'll do, okay, this text box and this light box. Ugh, I don't know. Um, I'm literally, I can't even describe to you how happy I am that Post Malone is coming here. I've seen him four times, I think, um, and every single time it has been you know, I've traveled great lengths length and distances to see him. Call it dedication, call it um, insanity, I don't know what you want to call it, but oh well, I'm committing to this switching things up. Oh, but maybe we should be more thoughtful because now we have socks. Hmm. Mistakes have been made. Undoubtedly. Okay, I'll put the socks right here. not digging that straight up. I'm just gonna put this text box over here because it's cute right there. And I'm gonna commit to this one I guess. I don't like this text box. I don't like having two of them next to each other but we don't have an option because this this is just horrendous. I don't like that box whatsoever. That does not look bad. Okay. So before I do the day covers, I'm going to put all the deco across the top because that will be cute. Don't. Well, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to lay down the headers and the sidebar and then we can jump into this week.
Okay. So we have our sidebar done. Weekly highlights. Post on Etsy what I made from Etsy this week. Won't show me filling any of that in currently. We might get to it. I just realized that I can use these headers the way I would use glitter headers. So we've come to some sort of epiphany realization. There's so much like just stuff included in planner culture, <laughs> planner lingo. It's a lot, you know, like I hope that sounds so dramatic, but let's just get started and see what happens. If nothing good happens, someone will have to sue me and I'll just live with that. Okay, so Monday it literally snowed. I hate the fucking snow so much. Don't know anyone who likes it. Um, if you like the snow, uh, me and you, me and you are not friends, me and you are not the same, me and you would not get along. Just period, okay? Me and you would not get along if you like the snow. There's something fundamentally different about you that I can't get behind. And that's just the truth. To mark that it snowed, I'm just gonna use this little frowny face from Let's pretend that's the right color. So yeah, it snowed, it was disgusting, gross, did not like it. Hating it, I'm just gonna use this. Now, it's Tuesday of the next week. This was last week. It's now Tuesday. Um, and I would just like to say, the weather has been amazing. Like, it's been beyond amazing. It's been proper fall weather, so. I don't know what that means for anyone, but proper fall weather is happening. So this kit might have worked better for next week. Well, is next week Thanksgiving? I have no idea. So then I had class. These little class headers, little class labels, markers, I don't know. They're from... They're from this kit. My first kit from... I don't remember. Cinderella paper, I think. Um, I'm just pulling them in to mark the three times I have class in the morning because they kind of match and I really like them. Same with the sticker over here. So there's that for you to think about. Um, then I filmed with my stickers. Then I filmed the plan with me from last week, which was fun. Um, Monday I just sat down, filmed it. You know, it wasn't perfect. But I think one should not expect it to be perfect, <laughs> you know? I did my best. So I just drew this film sticker on, because I have sticker paper. Um, I just, you know, did some hand lettering, super cute, super fun, not the best. Sue me. I, sue me. That's all I have to say. Then because my mom was gone, I had to take my little sister to school a few days during the week. This was one of them. We were late. Um, I, I lost I lost track of time, as the saying goes, as people say, as we excuse ourselves when we do things that we weren't supposed to. Okay, I'm gonna switch the film sticker out with this cute little puppy sticker from, I don't know where it's from. Same where this one's from. Um, I did not film my first plan with me. I filmed last week's. I filmed this one. Get a grip. Oh my god. Film plan with me? That looks so bad, but that's life we live now. So if you know me, you know that I love Tyler the Creator. Um, we mustn't get into it now, but he released new shoes on Monday. So I was sitting in the parking lot of my sister's school, like trying to buy them. 
it was stressful, but it wasn't incredibly stressful. All, all I was doing was buying shoes, so I survived. But it was stress inducing because they were selling out. He released a new high top pink Converse that I wanted. Them bitches was gone. That was depressing. Can't lie about that. So it was Veterans Day. And I did nothing else notable on Monday except homework. But at work, the kids were not listening. They were misbehaving as, as they do. Um, but it was hilarious because the the lady in charge we love her she was she sat them all down like when they're sitting in the gym they're supposed to be sitting voices off silent um but these bitches would not shut up they just kept talking like they they just didn't get that they were supposed to be sitting there and be quiet i don't think they cared to be truthful i do not think they gave a rat's ass what they were supposed to be doing so they, they were really just, you know, having a little party, going off, being out of pocket, not listening. Um, which, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Be that way. Then my supervisor goes. They're, they're, they finally got quiet, you know, after like 20 minutes. And I'm like, these bitches really just don't get it, do they? Um, and my supervisor goes, does anybody know what today is? And one of the kids is like... It's Veterans Day! And she goes, exactly. And you are disrespecting our veterans. And, um, I don't know. That really just took me out. I thought that was hilarious to, you know, use Veterans Day as an excuse to tell these kids that they don't listen. That was by far one of the funniest things I've ever witnessed. Ever. It was taking all of my willpower not to laugh. Um, so that was just funny. I'm glad that happened. I'm glad I got to be there for that. Uh, okay, so then on to Tuesday. My grandma left. Um, I packed orders. Then I went to Subway with my mom. Um, I'm going to leave this little space to write that we watched Hurt Locker in class. Um... Oh my god, that was a very good movie. I did not think I was gonna like it, to be truthful. I did not, I did not think I was gonna like it at all, like, whatsoever. But I did, I really did, I loved it. I, uh, I unfortunately ate it up. It was crazy. It was stress-inducing, I can't lie about that. It was, like, super stressful. It gave me a stomachache, I was afraid that Anthony Mackie was gonna die. And I didn't really want to cry in my theater or in my film class, you know. That would have been embarrassing. Um, but it was a really good movie. It, he said it was the last film shot in Super 16, which I, I can't, like, properly describe that to you. But, uh, we're just gonna take his word for it, okay? I had to air up my tire because my tires have been acting so strange my car has just been in general not acting correctly like the engine light was on the tire pressure light was on and then yesterday they like both just turned off which was super sketchy like what what so i'm just gonna mark that with this car washing sticker which you know i wish that's what was going on but it's not and then that night me hannah sophie and two of Sophie's friends, Elena and um, Marianne, we went and saw Last Christmas, which was so, so cute. So incredibly cute. Oh my god. Go see it. It was fun. It absolutely tore me apart. You know, I don't think people went in there expecting there to be this plot twist, but I had said from the beginning, I think there's a plot twist in this movie, guys. Like, there's something just a little bit off about this. And, you know, nobody wanted to listen. Nobody was like, you know. Everyone's like, what do you mean? Like, that, does, that doesn't make sense. You're crazy. Um, nope, I'm not crazy. I was right. There was a plot twist. Okay, that looks damn foolish, but that's the life we live. Um, yeah, it was super cute. I loved it. Go, go see it. Just go see it.
there is a plot twist it is heartbreaking it's sad but that is life okay so on wednesday i had class nothing to like say it's just class I was just there then I had consultations about a project um, for said class at like 12 30 so it was way later in the day but I still had it I still had to go and after that I went to the study abroad office because since last semester I've been wanting to study abroad right for film but I wasn't a film major until this semester, so it was like, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna have to cry about it every day of my life because I can't study abroad for what I want to because I'm not a part of that major. Um, you know, I'm just a stinky old psych major. That's all I am to these people. <laughs> Which is like dramatic, but that's how I felt. Um... So, I was talking to them. It, it turns out they're not very helpful. No, no tea, no shade. They just simply aren't helpful people. Uh, you know? So, it, it didn't, like, uh, hinder me in any way going to them. But it, like, didn't help. They didn't do anything I wasn't doing myself. So now, tomorrow, I'm meeting with my, like, actual advisor, my class advisor, um, who I love. She's the best. Um, to go over like what classes and stuff so hopefully i can finish my application really soon because i know what program i've already started my application obviously i want to go to rome italy is kind of just where i had my heart set it was immediate root for me you know do send me those good vibes as we say so if i go to to rome which i you know i think i end up I might end up doing for sure um my mom's like i can't wait for you to do that so i can come visit you she wants to go on the angels and demons tour which like that movie was scary that movie freaked me out i, I should never have seen that movie as a kid and yet here we are i have indeed seen that movie as a kid and what did i gain from that nothing good nothing good at all I think I'm going to do another today sticker of this. But Italy is so pretty. I just want to eat pasta. And going there would take care of my uh, language credit that I need. Um, you know? And who can argue with that, right? I was going to take sign language for my language, but... Uh, well, I don't know. I still could, I guess. But it just hasn't been, like, working out in the plans for me to do that, unfortunately. Oh god, that's atrocious. Was nobody gonna say anything? I think I still could end up doing sign language. You know, we'll play it by ear. Okay, so I cleaned my room and then I filmed the voiceover for my plan with me, the first plan with me. Um, and then here's a little to-do box. Because I had some things I wanted to to-do. <laughs> That's not funny, I don't know why I'm laughing. And then I went to Taco Bell with my mom, which, you know, Taco Bell is a good place full of good nutritional food and you simply can't argue with that you could try but <laughs> then I worked and then oh a glorious and then I up Hannah and Sophie and we filmed our first podcast episode which unfortunately ended up flopping but but we did it anyways and it was fun so we have things we need to fix and work on which which we will okay we'll fix that not right now but when we do them yeah so 
more on the podcast. It's going to be a film podcast because all we do is go to the movies. I'm a film major. Sophie is, I don't know, some animal science major. I truthfully couldn't tell you. I I have no no idea. Does that make me a bad person? I don't know. Hannah's a poli sci major or some shit like that. I, I don't know what to tell you. That's all I had to say. That was all that that point was, was just to inform you what our majors were and that we are making a podcast um, on movies. It's going to be called the Row E Podcast because that is where we sit every single uh, day. Every day we sit there. It's fun. I think we're pretty opinionated people. At least I am. I've got thoughts. Um, I think we've all kind of wanted to make a podcast for a long time. Ooh, the way my voice shaped. Not cute. I don't know how people do talk through plan with me is because this takes like so much thought. <laughs> I can't like think of things to say and and plan. It's too hard to like sit here and pretend that I'm skilled enough to do both. It's just not working. But I did have a test and I forgot I had the test until, you know, because I had class 10.30, 10.20. I scheduled my test last week to be at 10.30 because I was like, I don't want to come back. Just make it as snappy as I can. Totally forgot I had the test. Did no studying. Went and took it. Baby, call me a genius because I got a 92%. Hello. Yes, me. I did. I did that. Nobody else. So, yeah, I was happy about that, clearly. So that was good. That was something fun and fresh that happened to me. Did anything fun or fresh happen to you? Who knows? Okay, that's crooked. So, yeah, I had my test, and then I finished red, right, red, white, and royal blue, which was actually really good. You know, it only took me, like, a month or two to read. Uh, I lost it for a few weeks. Uh, I found it again, so that was fine. But I did 100% lose it at one point. Um, I think I ended up giving it four stars because had I just read it all in one go, like I usually do, you know, it would have been very enjoyable. I've just been having a rough reading time. Or I had been at least. I am out of my reading slump. Which I think everyone will be so glad to know. Because that's, you know, a big point of worry for the majority of people on earth. They all are asking, is Dominique okay? Which, you know, that question is not related to me reading. That's just a general question. I did upload... Okay, I'm going to move this box up. I uploaded, um, I, I uploaded the first plan with me. On this very Friday so shout out to me for doing that good job me <laughs> proud of you you did something you know nothing amazing but you did you did do something like we aren't thoroughly impressed by you I spent the majority of my morning watching freaking planner. No, not planner. Not planner. I was watching goddamn what are they called? Oh, I was watching van conversion videos where someone will buy a little van, uh, convert it into a like a little house and live in it. Because that's like something I actually want to do. If you know me, you know this. I have an obsession with tiny houses and freaking vans. Um, I just want to build one so badly. So that's like literally all I've been watching. <laughs> like at all. Just really couldn't be bothered to do anything else in the slightest. Except for just watching planner conversion not planner goddamn just watching whatever you get it I, I, I can't be bothered to do anything on this saturday i could not 
be bothered to do anything except watch bus conversions and van conversions and tiny house tours, which, you know, maybe that's not bad. Maybe that's okay to do because I had fun. I didn't, I wasn't not not doing things I needed to be doing. So I can't hate it too bad, but I went and got Starbucks with my mom and then what? So basically, in August, I started The Goldfinch. I never finished it. I had about 200 pages left. Um, I just didn't want to finish it. Um, like, I just was over it, you know? It was going on for too long. I was not hyped for it. Everything I wanted happened, you know? We were plumb out of luck. We were up Shit's Creek, as they say. Um, you know, it was just, it was wearing on me. It was getting to me in the worst way possible. So I put it down, but then after having finished Royal Red, right, I can't ever say it. Royal, it's red, white, and royal blue. Okay. So after having finished that, I was like, you know what? Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> um... So I decided, you know what, I am going to do it. I am going to finish. I'm going to fucking finish. I'm going to finish uh, The Goldfinch. So I pulled that big sucker out. I had 200 pages left. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to fucking finish this shit. The ending, for the ending, like the last 20 pages, I would have gave it 4 out of 5 stars. But, you know, there's more to a book than its ending. And unfortunately, I had to read that. So, you know, at least I finished that. But then that night I started um, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which I actually finished today before I sat down to do this. I have suddenly had an, a burst of creativity and a desire to make videos, which, you know, is why I have it in so long, just because I was like, Bleh, I don't really want to do it. It's not, it's not really fun for me right now. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it has become extremely fun and I don't want to do anything except make videos so I don't know maybe that makes you happy maybe that makes you upset that you can't escape me I don't know what I put that for but we'll just leave it I edited um, I I was in the process of making another Etsy vlog because I do like doing those a lot so I, I woke up on Sunday and I edited it. I edited, is that right? I edited, yeah, whatever. I edited it. <sighs> that does not sound right. No. Oh, and it's scheduled to go up tomorrow on the 20th. So it'll be up by by the time you see this. Um, it was pretty short. I talked a lot. I think it was a really nice reintroduction into Etsy vlogs. They are fun to do. I like them. Can't lose. Um, and then I got ready for family pictures, which I have this family time sticker, but I don't, I'm not going to use this edit sticker. It's just not vibing with me right now. So I'll mark that I did that whole thing. Then got ready for family pictures. Then we'll divide it with some cute washi. had family pictures which came out really cute it was really fun um yeah loved it super fun can't lose after that me and my siblings there are five of us um so i'm the oldest of all of them but the five of us we went to applebee's um and, you know what? These bitches, they thought that, okay, so I'm the oldest, then it's my brother, and then it's my first sister. And I have two other little sisters, and then three other little sisters, whatever. So, me, my brother, one sister, two sister, three sister, we're there. Um, I'm five foot, like six, my brother's like six three, my sister's like six one. So the waitress just thought 
that my brother and my sister were married and that they had three kids and then I was one of them and so the whole time they just keep addressing my brother and sister and I was getting so pressed by it as you could tell because I am not a little kid so you know I was like I guess I really look like a child so much so that you feel the need to keep telling me or keep addressing them even though then at the end she's like okay who's paying I freaking hand her the credit card and she was like oh I was like yeah you dingus that was just you know that was fun <laughs> just need to get that off my chest clearly I've been holding that in um then we came home it was fun it was fresh and I finished out my week by binge watching Russian Doll I started it when it came out and I stopped on episode four so I guess this was kind of a week of me finishing things that had gone unfinished honestly it was true okay so now i'm taking all this really pretty deco and i'm gonna add it along the top and the sides and you'll see Okay, this is essentially the finished spread. I do enjoy how it came out. Super fall, super nice. Not much else to say. Um, we can look at what we had left over. We have day covers left, which is good. I will definitely use those. Two habit trackers. Ooh, I used all. No. There's some stickers over here that didn't get used, but checklist I have almost all of my full boxes all of the build units a little bit of washi this brown washi I'm actually gonna pop onto the bottom down here just because like fun bunch of headers are left and this washi bunch of flags and of course all of the cursed check boxes so I probably have enough to put together a little spread, you know, with washi. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If not, I'm so sorry, but these are just fun to do. They're nice, easy, fun. And I really just like love doing, doing these. Okay, bye.